Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So about three weeks ago or so, I did a video talking about nose piercing struggles. I talked about both nostril piercings and septum piercings and the struggles or pet peeves that people have regarding those types of piercings. And I mentioned that maybe I would do an ear piercing one. Well, that's what we're doing today. I am going to be talking all about, I guess my ear piercing struggles. They're not necessarily pet peeves that, you know, they're part of what comes with having a plethora of ear piercings. And so they are some struggles, but they're not like, oh my God, they're so awful. Ah. So some of these struggles pertain to specific ear piercings. As you see, I have quite a few. So I will specify if this certain struggle pertains to a specific one, but otherwise it might be a generalization of just ear piercings in general. I'm also not gonna be talking about like stretched ears because again, I'm only at a 12 gauge and also how fun is this that I've got tunnels in, but I could still wear like regular earrings. Thought that was kind of a cool thing, so way to go tunnels. So let's just go ahead and start with the struggles that I experience at least. These are not everyone's struggles or you may have completely different struggles than I do, but these are just the ones that I encounter frequently. The first one is probably the biggest struggle I deal with, and that pertains to the tragus and the daith, doth, whatever. And that is wearing in-ear buds, you know, like the, the AirPods or whatever, the, the little things that you stick in your ear to hear music or whatever. Having one or both of those piercings makes it really difficult. Like, really difficult. Not impossible, but uncomfortable. However, I have figured out a way to make it a little bit better. It just looks weird. And so if you take your in earbuds and you like wrap it around your ear so that it's hanging down and then put them in there, it's not bad, but it's still not comfortable. So I usually stick with like over the ear headphones, but if I need earbuds for whatever reason, I do that method and then I just pull my hair down so then no one can see. But it would be nice to just pop in some in earbuds, not have to worry about your piercings messing things up. Another ear piercing struggle is that you're not supposed to lay on your side. Like when you go into sleep or something like that, you're not supposed to lay on them, especially if they're like brand new or still healing, but you're really not supposed to lay on them. Now, do I follow that rule? No, I'm a side sleeper, of course I don't. There are other ways to avoid it as well. You can get one of those like donut shaped pillows and just pop your ear in there, but who wants to do that forever? You're not supposed to lay on them, but I do. That's probably why I like two of them are crooked. Apparently that's what happens. If you lay on them while they're still healing, you can actually make it go cockeye. Fun times. A struggle that I face quite often, and it's painful for both ear and my head, is that my hair gets wrapped around the jewelry posts. I don't know if maybe I just need like shorter jewelry posts or what, but my hair, I'll like flip it and then all of a sudden it's caught on one of my helixes or something. And it's just like, why? And then of course, when you're like sitting there trying to get it all untangled, you're like ripping hair out and it's hurting your head, it's hurting your ear, it's just, it's a hot mess. One time where my hair getting caught in the jewelry is like a huge fear of mine is when I'm actually getting my hair done, like by a professional, I've gone to the salon to get my hair done, whatever. Especially if like I'm getting my hair washed. My hair gets caught in my piercings all the time and it's not the person washing my hair's fault because they don't realize that it's gotten caught but then they like flip my hair back and I'm like, oh, there goes an earring probably. And that's another struggle of mine is that I'm constantly fearing that one of them's just gonna fall out and then I'm not gonna be able to find it and then I'm not gonna have a spare one on hand and then it's gonna close up and then that'll just be awful. I don't know why I'm afraid of one just falling out, like willy nilly. Like unless I have done something to cause it to fall out, it shouldn't. So why am I afraid of that? But it is a struggle. It is a constant struggle. I will find myself going like, okay, everything's still there. We're good. And I don't know why. Another struggle that I have with my ear piercings is that certain ones are more difficult to change than others. For me personally, it's definitely my tragus, my day stuff, I say both to cover my bases, and my rook. I guess it's like the inner ones. For me, they're a little bit more difficult just because I can't see like 
the holes for each one, especially the face off. I will not change that on my own like ever. These two I can, I just don't like to. But those are the ones personally for me that are more difficult to change and so they don't get changed often. I would like to be able to change them more often so that I could do like a color theme. I really wanna do like an icy blue theme, but because they're difficult to change, I just don't, I just leave them. I wish they weren't so difficult to change. Which leads me into my next one. If you need to have like a medical procedure done, you have to change them to retainers. Back when I had my weight loss surgery in April, 2017, they were trying to tell me, yeah, you're gonna have to take out all your piercings. And I'm like, I can't, they'll close up. I, I seriously cannot have anything out of them for any length of time. And so I asked them, I was like, I've got retainers though. Can I put that in there? And they're like, are they plastic? And I'm like, I've got some plastic ones. And they were like, yeah, you can do that. And so luckily I was able to change them out. But then like right after the surgery, I got my mom to put them all all the metal ones back in, but it's just a pain. But I understand why. I'd rather not fry my ears with that possibility. I guess that's a possibility, right? I don't know. I'm not a medical person, I'm not sciencey. I'm English. But just the fact that if you have to have a medical procedure, you have to change them out. And if you have multiples, that that's a pain in the butt. That's less of a struggle and more of a me just being whiny. This one cracks me up. A struggle of mine is that people constantly ask me, Do you metal detectors at the airport? Yes, I set them all off. I set them all off. No, I don't. Another comment that I get often, that's kind of a struggle to deal with, is when people ask me, did it hurt to get those? Yes, it did. Someone took a needle and shoved it through my cartilage and some skin. Yes, it hurt, even just a smidge. Go watch my video about pain levels over there. Actually finish watching this video first, then go watch it. These next two kind of go hand in hand. A struggle that I find is that you'll just randomly get the crusties on some of them, even if they're completely healed and have been healed. Just randomly one day you'll get some crusties in there. Ew, another one, bumps, the dreaded bumps. You expect them when they're new or when they're healing still, but not when you've had them for a while. Like my double helix over here. I have officially had for two years now. It was doing pretty good after I changed them out into good quality jewelry. One of them all of a sudden has a bump. Why? Just why? The constant struggle of being like, oh, they look good, they're healed up, they're doing fine. Bam, crusties and bumps. And my last struggle, and this just may be me, but I'm constantly playing with them. I will seriously be at work, at my desk, doing something and I'll just be like, just playing with them. I'll be here, editing a video, just playing with them. Why do I do that? I don't understand. That really may be a personal struggle of mine, but I just, I am constantly playing with them and I don't know why. So those are my personal ear piercing struggles. Again, some of them are more specific to certain ear piercings. Some of them are kind of a generalization, but those are the ones that I find myself struggling with the most, especially the comments, cause I'm always just like, I don't know how to respond. If you yourself have some ear piercings, what struggles do you deal with? Do you deal with any of the ones that I deal with? Do you deal with different ones? Leave them in the comments below, cause I'm curious. I'm sure there are way more struggles, but these are just the ones that are like, constant for me. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know, even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also go ahead and hit that notification bell in case you wanna know when I upload and in case YouTube actually wants to let you know when I upload because it's hit or miss. I would really appreciate it. But until next time, bye guys.